I'm Matt Hoffman, or Lord Ned, as some of you may know me, and I'm going to teach you about Valve Hammer Editor. But before we do that, I'm going to give you a little overview of the Source Engine, thanks to Wikipedia. Some of the notable things is it came out in June 2004 with Counter-Strike Source and Half-Life 2. One of the main features of the Source Engine is it's very mod-friendly. Modders get a lot of access to the code and a lot of access to the content, and you can create your own custom content easily. Um, I'm going to show you some example maps that were done in Source, rendered in Counter-Strike Source, Team Fortress 2, or Left 4 Dead. Just going to go ahead and page through these here. Along with being able to create your own mod, you can create entirely custom content, which is called a Total Conversion Mod. Neo Tokyo is one of them. They've replaced all the content from Half-Life 2 of their own, and have created an entire mod out of it. But not all mods are as complex. There's also Research and Development, which I'm sure many of you have played, which is just a series of puzzle levels with very little custom content, and it's a lot of fun and everybody's enjoying it. It's a basic overview of what you can do with the Source Engine and where it is. If you want to keep learning about it, stick with me, and we're going to get right into Hammer in the next tutorial. If you've got any suggestions or comments, drop us a line at valvehammertutorials at gmail.com or send us a PM on YouTube or leave a comment on the video. Stay tuned for the next episode where we learn how to get Hammer. Thanks for watching.